everyone, it's Linnea here and today I'm sharing with you how to make some Valentine's interlocking cards. I'm gonna be using these super pretty pattern paper sheets from the upcoming new Watercolor Wishes collection by Lone Fong. So to start off I could a 4 inch stall piece from one of these sheets and I'm using my scoring board to do some score lines. I'm doing two strong lines at the 4 and 8 inches marks and two soft lines at the 2 and 10 inches marks. Now with the help of my bone folder I'm folding my car following the strong lines. These cards are super easy to make, but I'm going to show you how to fix them when they don't turn out perfectly. In case it doesn't stay flat, you can cut a little strip as I do, because we are not going to need it. I'm gonna be using the mid-size heart from the stitched heart dies by Lone Fawn to do some partial die cutting. I'm securing my die on the card using some washi tape, lining it up with the soft score line. Now I only want this to cut to the left side of the soft score line, so I'm putting just this side between the cutting place of my machine. So I'm lining up my soft score line with the edge of my cutting plates and now I'm going to run it through my die cut machine. So because only one half of the heart had pressure on it, only this half side was cut. Then I'm using my trimmer to cut along the soft score line starting from both edges and stopping by the heart. If you are afraid of harming your heart, you can finish it off with your scissors. Now I'm gonna be doing the same thing on the other half of the card. So to help me placing the die perfectly, I'm using some washi tape to secure the die in place while I release the first half. Now I have my die perfectly placed to start my die cutting. This technique may look a bit intimidating at first, but it's really easy to do. You just need to be careful placing the half you want to be cut between the die cut plates and lining the die cut plates with your score line. You can use other dies with different shapes to make a card like this. Circles or even stars could be super fun as well. So here I have both sides ready and if you can see there's a little gap in the middle. This is not usual but I wanted to show you how to fix it. I'm just pulling one side towards the other, pressing down and fold again with my bone folder to get a perfect finish. To finish off my interlocking card I'm just going to cut a little knot on the bottom of this half heart using my scissors and another one on the top of the other half heart. Once both notches are done, I can hook the two heart halves together like this. I really enjoyed making this, so I had to make some more in other colors. I'm gonna be using three mini stamp sets by Long Phone. They're called uh, Heads Hooks, Love You Tones, and Will You Be Mine. So I'm stamping all these little images with Memento black ink because I'm going to color them using Copic markers and this ink is Copic friendly so it won't smear or bleed with the Copic markers. So I'm gonna be doing some quick blending with my markers and I'm going to show you which colors I using for each creature.
that all the coloring is done, I'm gonna use the coordinating dies to cut all these critters out running this through my die cutting machine. And I went ahead and used my stitch hard die again to die cut some hearts from some Let's Polka in the Meadow collection. I just cut them in half with my trimmer and I'm going to add them to my cards using some liquid adhesive. This kind of adhesive is great for this because it lets you play around a bit with the pieces until it's dry. So I can arrange both halves of the heart until they look nice. Here you can totally play with different colors and pattern paper combinations. For my sentiments, I'm gonna be using this banner die from the Everyday Sentiment Banners die set. And I went ahead and die cut three banners from white cardstock. And I'm going to stamp the sentiment included in each of the mini stamp sets. So now it's time to add all our little critters onto the cards. To give them some dimension, I'm using foam adhesive to attach them on top of the hearts. I wanted to add some dimension as well on the banners, so I'm gonna use my scoring board to do some score lines and then transform them into folded banners. I'm just doing two score lines on each side of the sentiment. Then I'm gonna fold each banner backwards on the first score line and fold it again forward on the second score line. Finally, I'm using double sided adhesive tape to add the sentiment banners to my cards. Of course, this way the card can be opened, but I thought that it could be fun to have one half of everything on each side of the card. So I'm gonna be cutting each banner in half with my scissors. I think it looks super cute this way, but if you don't like it, you can place the sentiment any other way, like in a word bubble for example. Now the front of my cards is done, but I wanted to work also on the inside. So I went ahead and I cut a square panel using the cross stitch squares die set and I'm going to be using the big scripty words and happy everything stamp sets to stamp my sentiment on the panel. So I put the stamps in place, picking them with my acrylic block and then I'm stamping them using some guava ink by Longfond. I decided to add some mini hearts from the Hedgehog's stamp set at the last minute after I'd already adhered the panel to my card using liquid glue. I think they look super cute and add something more to the inside. And that will finish off that card. I really enjoyed making this, so I made two more cards to give you extra ideas because you can really use lots of different stamp sets with this design. For this one I used the Be Mine stamp set and for this other one I combined the images from Love You A Latte with the sentiment from Milk and Cookies. So here are my cards for today, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching and have a nice day, bye!